All right, how's everybody doing today? Today we are going to solve for the zero force members. And the um, best way to do this, first of all, we need to actually look and determine our reaction forces. In this case, we have a pin connection, so we know that there's a force in this direction, and I'm going to call this PY. And then over here, this is a roller, this is a pin connection, so we have in the x direction, I'm going to call it fx, and then we have a force in the y direction, and I'm going to call it fy. This one is given, and let's just say it's 20 newtons. The whole goal of this is just to determine the zero force members. And the best way to do that, you have to calculate, you have to draw the free body diagram of each of the joints. But the best shortcut is, before you do that, make sure you do the, the free body diagram of each joint, but the farthest joints. Like for example, you have A and D. They are the farthest. So let's do the free body diagram at A. This is our point A. We have a force in this direction. I'm going to call it AY. And another internal force, and I'm going to call it AX. Do the summations. In the, y or, uh, in the y and x directions, you'll notice that these are 90 degrees. So ay equals 0, and then ax equals 0. This is in the y direction, and this is in the x direction. So you automatically know that this, those two are 0 force members. Now let's do point D. Point D can be just a little bit tricky, but you have to be careful with this one right here. Look at it. You have an internal force going this way, and another force right here. And I'm going to call this right here F of dy. This is theta. And I'm going to call this right here F of dc. Before we do this right here, we're going to draw the reference. In this case, our reference is going to be x and y. Anything in the right is positive. Anything going in the other direction is a positive one. So let's do the summation in the x direction over here. Summation of the x direction equals zero. So you look over here. Let's do this from here. We have F of DC. Negative. Negative F of DC sine theta equal zero. So just by that, you automatically know that the force of DC is zero. So this right here is a zero force member. Now let's do in the y direction. And you notice that in the y direction that this right here, we have negative F of dy minus F of dc cosine theta. However, we know that this is a zero, so this whole thing cancels out, equals zero. But also, our force dy is a zero force member. So just by canceling these two out, now you move on to the farthest point, or the farthest joint. In this case, we can work on f. Let's do the free body diagram for F. And okay. So just by looking at this right here, this internal force right here, it can actually cancel it out. To zero, but then we have an external force here, so you automatically know that this cannot be a zero, same as this right here, since this one is actually has a, bear, uh, a value. So we know for a fact that this cannot be a zero, nor that one. Okay? Now you move on to point C. Well, we said that this force right here is actually has a value. It doesn't matter right now what value it is, but we know that it has a value. And if you look over here, we have dy. And also, we have this force right here. This 
one has a value, so then this right here must have a value, and so that one is. So there you go. Right here, none of this is zero force members. And pretty much you just solved everything, and we can work it out at point E. Point E. We have an external force. We call it 20 newtons. And then we know that this right here is zero. All you're left with is right here and that. Since there's an external force here, if you do the summations in the y or in the x direction, you know that this is going to come up with a value. And since this one is going to be in the f and in the x direction, because you have a force going in the y and in the x, then you automatically know that this one also has a value. So your zero force members are just d, c, d, e, a, b, and a, f. This is what exactly you're supposed to be left out.